Hello guys! Welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are back here with another anime podcast. And I just want you all to appreciate my shirt. It's beautiful. I it's love amazing. it. It's mine. My Sakurajima. Anyway. It's, it's the best girl of the year. It's, it's the best girl! On a shirt! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, last week, I'm... As of this recording, we talked about best girls. But this week, we're going to be talking about gateway anime. Anime to get you into anime. The shows to get you into it. As well as shows to get you into like specific genres. And just overall, like to help you bridge the gap between kind of the harder to watch and the easier to watch, basically. Mm-hmm. So, um, as you can tell, we kind of switched it up a little. A little different, but we did. we're all still here. I'm still in the same place. You're still in the same spot. <laughs> maybe we should. Spot. Maybe me and you should switch. Nope, I'm good. I'm good in my spot. <laughs> Us three switch. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's jump right into it with anime, gateway anime, stuff to get you into anime. And I think first and foremost, uh, I'd, I'd want to start with Sword Art Online. Yep. Now, this one is not a well-received show within the community in terms of, like, the otaku and weebs and stuff like that. It, everyone says it's a, it's a really bad show. However, Aiden over here likes it. I do, actually, yeah. And, I mean, it's not a bad show. There's parts I, about it I like. Yeah. I like it. Um, granted, that being said, I've watched much better since then. That's true. That's yeah. very true. Um, however... It was one of the first ones that I watched. I know it got Quinn mm-hmm. into anime. Um, and, like, overall, it does a lot of things really well. Plus, I think everyone's kind of been like, oh, what if we got trapped in a video game? In this video game world. Uh, especially gamers. Also, they tried that many times in anime. Of what if we got trapped in a game? A video game. Trapped in a video game. But Sword Art online seemed to be the only one the first one to do it right yeah. mm-hmm. or to like make it stick yeah for sure and I feel like it definitely uh, kind of appealed more to like an American audience so it didn't have all of the normal like uh, or I guess as much of like the fan servicing and stuff like that I mean it still had its fair share it still had uh, you know uh, Asuna was definitely like Fire. Um, she basically just became fan service. Yeah. She's fan service god. She is. Uh, <laughs> but it didn't start out that way. It's true. Uh, no, it didn't. Manga it really, manga. like, it definitely tried to focus more on, like, the story. Nice. Um, okay. I mean, it, I think overall, even though it's, like, not a fantastic anime once you've been watching anime for a while, like, it's one of those ones where, when you're first starting out, you just really enjoy kind of everything about it. Like, it, it's very much, it's a, it's a good palate cleanser. Like That's a type great of way to put it. Like, <laughs> the, the difficult thing about Sword Art Online is that it gets bad rap. Yeah, yeah. it really does. It, it gets a worse rap than it deserves. 100%. Um, it is a good drama anime, but watching the first episode, you expect a shonen anime. And it's not. Yeah. I and everyone is disappointed about it. And shonen everyone being... to this day is still disappointed about it. Yeah. And yeah. that's why everyone says it's like the worst show ever, but it's not. Time out. Shonen anime being, you know, the fighter, fighting anime, superhero, yeah. kind of like just constant fights. Something like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia. All those ones Speaking are shonen. Um, hold on. No, no, no. We're still in Sword Art. Stop talking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said like four words. <laughs> Stop talking, you're talking too much, Tanner. But no. <laughs> Poor Tanner. <laughs> you're just gonna take a nap. <laughs> Carry on. I'm sorry. Come back, please. Please stay in the shot. <laughs> but um Yeah. Sword Art Online, honestly was really good for me. It wasn't a gateway anime for me because I had already... I 
I mean, it didn't get me into anime. Um, I watched it. I that was probably the first anime I watched, like anime I watched, but um, it wasn't the one that got me into anime. However, it was really good because, like, most people who watch anime are also gamers. They also play a lot of games, and so or video games specifically, and so, like, they had that correlation of, like, oh, yeah, what if I could be Kirito? What if I could be Jesus Kuhn? <laughs> As he is referred to by many of people. He is? Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah, that's great. He's just real good with a sword. <laughs> he's just sword. overpowered, and nothing ever touches him. Because he's it's real true. good with a sword, and he's real quick. He's a fast boy. He's a speedy he, boy. He's, speed. he's, he's the only person to have two swords. Yes. Um, that's true. Sounds uncomfortable. Hey. Bet. Save that for the best girls episodes. <laughs> God. No, that's for best guys. Come on. <laughs> well, best okay, boy episode is going to be great. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do it. Jaden's not here for that one. That's going to be real weird. We gotta make sure that he's here. I think Jaden should be here. Jaden needs to be here. It anyway, <laughs> back on topic. Um, yeah, overall, it's just a very simple. It's a very simple show. Yeah. There's nothing over the top. Like none of the fan service is over the top. None of the plot is over the top or confusing. It's all very like, we can do it because we can. Through the power of friendship. No, not even that. It's just like not even that. we can do it because Kirito is overpowered. Fighting spirit, and through some of like the arcs, like I don't think during the original, uh, like story arc, uh, you get you don't really get attached too much. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it has more than one arc. Uh, and it has a few seasons, and there are a couple arcs where you really do get attached to some of the characters, um, and you really do feel for them. So I'd say it's definitely worth at least giving it a watch. Yeah. Um, honestly, you can skip the second arc Yeah. with Alfheim Online. That one is the most skippable and honestly probably better if you do skip it. It's kind of entertaining. It has a rough ending. It has a yeah. rough ending and it's kind of entertaining but it's also where most of the problems come. That's true. Uh, yeah. That's, That's the fairy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's that one. Incest is not best. No. Yeah, that's, that's that arc. I actually think they did an okay job of Sue's character. It's better than some characters. Like, when there. it comes to incest anime... Which, which there's a lot of there's, Which there's, there's a good some. amount of them. They actually did Sugu very well. They did. Yeah. Um, as I said, like... And she totally didn't do it on purpose, and it's really sad for her. Yeah. Sword Art Online <laughs> overall isn't a bad show. Like, like it's it's still a good like Luke starting anime. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, oh, but twins. <laughs> but the problem is yeah. like, it's not great. It's a good starting anime, and definitely watch it. I mean, it gets so many people into anime. I mean, it's about average. I think it's not terrible. Yeah, but it's, it's not, not great. great. I think we've had enough of sword art. Yes. I agree. Moving on. We mentioned it before. Naruto! Yep. Hey. Okay, Naruto, yeah. Right. Yeah, man. I have watched all of it. Uh, He's the only one. It's true. I watched all of the original Naruto. Uh, <laughs> I've watched through the original Naruto. I've watched through Shippuden. Uh, even a couple of the movies that they've made. Uh, and it is solid. And yes, I have. have I am completely of... caught up on Boruto. Wow, impressive. Uh, yeah, and it's solid. That's um, a good amount of anime right there. <laughs> yeah, you it's know it. Like good <laughs> thousand or something episodes. No, between all. No, how long is your Putin? Isn't that like six hundred? Or am I overshooting? You're way overshooting. Uh, it's about three think, to uh, four hundred. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so no, overall it's like. I think between seven regular uh, Naruto. Okay. Okay. And Shippuden, you've got about six to six hundred and fifty. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's roughly. I, I, I could be I my numbers could be a little bit mm -hmm. off. Okay. And then with Boruto, you're probably sitting at about about almost seven hundred. Yeah. So it's way long. It is complete, but, but there's a lot of filler episodes. Uh, there's a, a lot of skippable skip. filler episodes. Yeah, I actually uh, skipped 
like almost a hundred episodes by now. Yeah, yeah. There, uh, that is probably the one drawback from Naruto is that it has a lot of filler. Um, I mean, the filler is good. Like I've watched uh, since actually finishing the show, I've gone back and watched through some of the filler like spaces that I skipped uh, originally, and the fillers are still good. It's just if you're trying to watch. Uh, a linear version of the story you want to skip through the fillers and watch them later because they do give some backstory on a lot of the characters um and you can easily find filler lists on online yeah yeah Yeah, Mm -hmm. exactly um and and the thing is like all all the filler episodes they're fun and they're yeah a lot of times they're goofy like they're not super serious but like uh, and again they're not super plot related so it right like you said you can Skip them yeah. if you feel There's like you want just story. Like, What's under Kakashi Sensei's mask? And it, yeah, it's those ones are funny. Face. Those ones are funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it's uh, or the Bikochu Beetle. Yeah, There's go a, find it. Maybe it'll find Sasuke for us. Right. <laughs> um, with Naruto, because it seems like people have an easier time attracting themselves to like action-based show, mm-hmm. like TV shows, uh, even like cartoons. Um, or anything like that, like, an action-based anime is always easier for people to, uh, to enjoy more than, like, anything that has to do with drama or romance or a day in a life. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And Naruto's got kind of a good bit of it all. Uh, definitely a lot of action. The the fighting sequences are fantastic. The animation Mm -hmm. is amazing. Um, and every character, even if they're not super important, every character has development. Um, mm-hmm. Like, they change, they grow, uh, you know, all this stuff. Uh, they really took the time with this show to... Um, <laughs> to really... Shut up, Tanner. Like, what? focus on the characters and the fighting and, like, really making it an enjoyable all-around experience. Um the only character that doesn't really change is Sasuke. <laughs> and he's kind of a butthole. Uh, but he's a good butthole. <laughs> like, he's like a Vegeta. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's kind of, very... but he never turns good. <laughs> so far, that's what I've He's watched. more... <sighs> he's more oh, like... Wait. Kind of like a chaotic neutral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stop. Like... Or I would say like a chaotic good. Okay. Or like a, a, like a, yeah. Um, when he's not being a complete dick. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely like... he. I'd say he's a chaotic He's either He's out for himself. He's he wants, either your favorite yeah. character in the show, or you hate him more than anyone else. Uh, and there's yeah. not a lot of in-between. He's Bakugo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which is pretty yeah. funny, because that's how it is with me and my girlfriend watching it. I love Sasuke. I think mm-hmm. he's awesome. And she hates him. Yeah. Like yeah, she just hates him. It's passionate. Exactly how it is? She's yeah. like yelling at the TV screen. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> like it's Sasuke. Sasuke. <laughs> I'm like, hey, <laughs> he's trying. Uh, okay. I feel like the two characters. I guess I should say there's another character that doesn't really change a whole lot until like Shippuden and Boruto, and that's Sakura. Uh, she has a very much like linear like development. <laughs> she's just kind of. She's there. She, oh, Sasuke. And then, oh, no, Sasuke. And then, I'm going to find Sasuke. <laughs> like, it's the only thing she cares about. Like, it's pretty it's great. It's Sasuke the entire time. And then, until, like, in between the end of Shippuden. Nagging Naruto. Yeah. Just for being uh, himself. So, Sakura and Sasuke don't change a whole lot, but they're still pretty likable characters overall. Um, Plus, yeah. I mean, as a gateway anime... Ninjas are fun to watch. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's true. And the uh, these guys sort of disagree with me on, like, Naruto's dubbed voice. Uh, but the dubbed is really, really good. Uh, Overall, personally, yes. to me. Uh, especially when he's younger in age. Uh, I think his subbed voice is a little bit annoying um, and obnoxious. But uh, he's obnoxious either way. That's kind of his character. Yeah, that's the point of Naruto. Yeah. He's obnoxious. He grows um, up. But... But no, like, it, it's one of those ones that's really easy to get into because it's dubbed really well. Um, it's got a lot of super awesome animations, super awesome fights. Like, every single fight is amazing. Fun characters. Yeah, fun characters, like, and a plethora of them. Like, there's a yeah. lot of characters that you can really... Lots of different, enjoy. like, roles yeah. as well. So, but yeah, so that's Naruto. Yeah. Yep. 
I mean, do y'all have anything else to say? About Naruto? I mean, yeah. I got too much. I'll be here for hours. I mean, yeah, I could talk about it. <laughs> as, as a gateway anime, as like, what makes it good I to mean, start watching? Who doesn't like magical ninjas? There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> Enough said. Stop talking. But the thing <laughs> I was going to... You're going to add more. I know it. Magic okay, ninjas. What, I, what I'm going to add is like... It's also like it's a, a classic thing that you see replayed throughout other animes. Like, yeah, Naruto is like, I'm going to aspire to be this really awesome thing. And then you go on this journey to see how he does it. Because he yeah. does. Uh-huh. But it takes ages. <laughs> yeah. And so. That, that is a very like similar thing to a lot of mm-hmm. anime is like... Uh, especially like action based anime is yeah. like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be awesome a lot of, and this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> a lot of shonen anime specifically do yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, all of the like big names, Fairy Tale, yeah. Naruto, One My Piece, Hero Academia, My Hero Academia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. Et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. But it's one that's really fun to watch and really good. Yeah. But it's a lot it's a lot like the hero's journey. It right? works. It just works. Yeah, so no two shows are ever really exactly the same, mm-hmm. it's just it has a similar theme. There are commonalities, but yeah. like they're still good individually. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. And sticking with the theme of shonen anime, I think another one that's really popular right now and is newer and has significantly less episodes is Boku no Hiro Aka or My Hero Academia, which not only has does it have a great sub, it also has a, a phenomenal dub. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes. Let's first talk about the dub because, holy crap, <laughs> is it great? I prefer All Might's dub voice. Over I also sub. prefer because uh, Christopher Sabat is beautiful. <laughs> it's the real reason. Also, it's All Might is like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he is American. Like he's an American yeah. uh-huh. superhero. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he is Japanese. Yeah, technically, but, but he like, spent a lot of he spent like he all spent his most of his, time his hero training. career was in in the America. US. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, United States of so Smash. Just, yeah, he just comes in and he's just this big macho blonde haired like also dude with red white Yeah, I don't and know. And his but like his red white named blue. after the states of America. Yeah, like Texas Delaware Smash. Smash. The actual creator yeah. said he was inspired for All Might by Superman. Mm. Yeah, like so he yeah. really is like he just comes in and he's like. There's nothing to fear. I am here. here. Like, yeah. he, and he saves people really well. He does. Out. He really does. Um, he's a. There's he's a reason he's number one man. hero. <laughs> and that he's based hero. off of Superman is really funny because Superman was originally made to promote killing Japs in World War II. But I'm. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's not talk about my favorite anyway. superheroes background. Uh, superheroes are amazing. <laughs> Super, superheroes in a black car. Rough. Overall, that's that's one of the reasons why it's so easy to watch, mm-hmm. especially as an American. Mm-hmm. Like the dub you is don't, so good. yeah. One, the dub is phenomenal. Really it's good. one of the best dubs out there, um, along the lines of like um, Full Metal Alchemist. You have this one as well, and then like I even like the Sword Art Online dub. I think that one's really good. Yeah, I think they do. Really I like the dub of Seven Deadly Sins as well. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. for Elizabeth. Oh my Except gosh, for Elizabeth, so but I don't think she could get better or worse. <laughs> I, like, I think I her think character. Her, anyway, I think her voice fits topic, her character actually yeah, quite well. It does, which is off terrible. topic. Uh huh. Yeah. Overall, it's it's an easy watch because you don't get a lot of the like the Japanese, I guess, culture. Yeah, it's I mean, not super get, heavy. You, yeah, I was gonna say you get you a little get bit some of it, it. Um, but like they incorporate baseball into it. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. and like superheroes. I mean, Which, that's that's a huge, huge thing in America. I mean, mm-hmm. think about how many people how just many? watch Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many people are probably going to be watching Endgame uh, and all of the other Avengers movies and just the MCU itself, like, superheroes is a huge, huge thing mm-hmm. in America. Plus, I mean, they even have, like, the DC and all the, now. Yeah, and all of the TV shows that are superhero-based as well. Yeah. Like, it's a familiar thing for Americans. So, for like, sure. watching a uh, Japanese TV show about superheroes is like, yeah, this is normal. Right. There, there's nothing super out there as far as, like, content-wise. Yeah. You know? And so it's a, it's one that's, like... One is just a phenomenal anime in general, um, but two, it's one that's super, super easy for pretty much anybody, no matter if you've been watching anime for 
10 years or you're starting today. Like it's one that every single person can sit down and enjoy and mm -hmm. really like get attached to some really solid characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And part of it is, I mean, we mentioned it a little as we transitioned, but it's that same uh, thing like Naruto, like, Deku, our, our main guy, Iz Izuku, he's going to be number one hero someday. And, like, it, he says that in the first episode. He's like, this is the story of how I became the top hero. Yeah. Like, you, so you know where he's going to reach. It's mm -hmm. just like, you, but you know nothing about what his journey is going to be. And that's uh -huh. the best part about it. Especially the very it. beginning, he's weak. Oh, and he's when he first turd. has his powers, he sucks. He's, he's the worst. <laughs> he's literally, like... A rolling turd. Somebody just kind of kicked him along and was just like, yeah. and, and, then, and then he swings right. a punch and he, his arm blows up. You're like, yeah, oh wow, he's dying. It's interesting. Yeah, it's. But that's what that's the great part about it is mm -hmm. you get so caught off guard by how just terrible he is. Well, at first. and part of that is just how how uh, like the underdog mentality. Yeah, because it's the same mm -hmm. with Naruto. Like he was the worst in his class. He, yeah. he sucked discipline wise and just being a good student. Like he's yeah, terrible. For sure. And, and, like, it's their journey of, like, becoming awesome, because they yeah. can be, but they yes. start out really far from awesome. Yeah. And exactly. all of his <laughs> classmates and friends are, like, running around, kicking robots, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I haven't, I haven't done anything. Zero points! I'm gonna die! I'm not gonna make it! Back to my hero. He tries so hard. He does. He tries harder yeah. than anyone else. Yeah. I, yeah, honestly. He's... And it's inspiring. Yeah, I yeah, think absolutely. At the yeah. beginning, for as whiny as he is, like <laughs> he he, is uh, he becomes a character that you like really fast. Like at mm -hmm. first, when I first started watching it, I was like, "This kid sucks." Like, I was the same way. I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> he's this weed. is our main he's character." Such a whiny <laughs> and he's a he's a freaking what a fanboy. Yeah. And like they 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 comment about that. Like he's a nerdy fanboy. He he doesn't have a power. He's 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 yeah. weak. Like, Which is relatable just, for people who watch a lot of anime. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> and he's just kind of like, he's just this little, like, goofy wimp that shouldn't even really be involved. And then the next thing you know, you're like, okay, no, I kind of like you. I kind of mm -hmm. like the way, I like your mentality. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> yeah. That, so overall, that one, it's, it's a, Very good. it's a great one for American audiences. Yeah. Um, because you can watch it dubbed, and it's really good. Um, plus, overall, it's just it not too heavily themed in the Japanese culture, while still having like a very entertaining plot and very interesting characters. Yeah. Um, and overall, that's one of the best anime currently running. I mean, season four is coming out. There's a reason it's really, really popular. I'm yeah. so There's a reason it's really, yeah. yeah. There's a reason it's really popular. Um, uh, all right, so Genre. now I mean, no, we, we just we talked about going. yeah, we were going to talk about Death Note now. Death Note. And this one, honestly, I think Quinn in the last episode where we talked about gateway animes, when we talked about our gateway anime, you were like, I don't know about that one as a gateway anime. That's and true. now I'm like. Yeah, it's a pretty good gateway anime. Really? Yeah. Um, and here's why. It's one where it's got a lot of absurd moments, but since it's a battle of wits with an amazing dub, it's really entertaining. That's there true. are moments where you're just like, okay, this is a little over the top. Yeah. But it's not okay, in I an action way. I had a hard way. time mm -hmm. getting Which into is... it, and once I did get into it, I was hooked and could not leave. Mm. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. It's it's one where if you can get into it, it's great. And it springboards you into anime. Yeah. That was the one where I was like, I want to watch more anime because this was amazing. And that's what got me into other shows like mm -hmm. Soul Eater and Fairy Tale. Um, but it was Death Note in particular that got me into it. Well, and I feel like Death Note is one where like either you're into it immediately or it takes maybe five or six episodes for you to really get into, like, kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, like, because for me, like, I was into it immediately. Like, mm -hmm. from the first episode, mm -hmm. I was like, I really like this. This is really cool. Like, I already like the concept of this. I don't think it took me five or six episodes. I think it took me, like, two or three. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I, did, I, I wasn't hooked at the, at the very beginning. But, but yeah, yeah, either, like, it's one per Like, for most people, you're either, like, you're hooked... Or, like, it takes a few episodes. Mm -hmm. And and then you're like, okay, no, now I kind of see what's yeah, going yeah. on. Like, now I'm enjoying it. 
Yeah, and I watched it just because of how popular it is. Right. And how much um how much people would talk about it. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, I need to watch this show. Well it's just interesting. I guess it's, it's like it's the number one anime concept. on my anime list dot com. Yeah. Really? Most, yeah, as most watched. <laughs> interesting. Wow. Like, interesting. That helped. Cool. Yeah. I mean that makes sense. I think in the 2017 international like top anime list, it was number three, mm. right behind Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and My Hero Academia. So like, yeah. okay, yeah. In terms of internationally, people love this show. Right? Yeah, and like, there's reason for it. It's incredibly entertaining, and it's one that I think not everyone can get into, but. If you do get into it, it springboards you forward into watch, wanting to watch more. Whereas the other ones, it's kind of like it's a smooth ride into anime. Yeah. This one's like, and I need more of this. Yeah, for sure. Which so is how Kyle got into anime. Really yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was like, kicked off the high dive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just like have fun, be safe. Death Note just, like, just like writes my name in the Death Note and I just fall in. Fall in. <laughs> None did fall in. I fall in. We love you guys. <laughs> Amazing. Fell in. There we go. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> Sometimes. Especially when you have three different languages in your head. And you're just like, <laughs> my brain. What language am I speaking? All of them. Boca no cerebro. <laughs> 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 Mine just explodes right there. I understood that, and that's why it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. Book of the Anyway, my brain. So, that's so, what your brain does on Death Note, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, oh Wait my gosh. A second. Well, <laughs> hold on. And the thing is, yeah. I lost my mind watching Death Note. My head hurt. I had a migraine for like three days because I binged it. You binged it in one day. I think Ooh, that's the main holy problem. Cow. Ooh, yeah, I that would mess your brain. Wow. Oh, you still, me still. I but think okay. I binged it. That's rough, buddy. Yeah. I binged it as fast as humanly possible. It was rough. Yeah. So my eyes were bleeding by the end, and, I, and but, I had a headache just from like being on the TV for that long. But also, it was like. He's playing musical Death Notes in the Woods, and I don't understand. Is There's more confusing than musical Death Notes in the Woods. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so strange. It's strange, but so it's confusing. So confusing. Brain wise, it's a much, it's a, it's a very similar experience to like Inception or or something. It, yeah. it makes you think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a show that you can't just. You can't watch you can't it casually. Just yeah. Watch it. You have to be engaged. You have to be yeah, like for sure listening. And paying attention. <laughs> Which is why this is one where I would highly suggest watching it the first time dubbed. Yeah. Um, unless you are already, like, way into anime Sub. and know how to read subs and all that stuff, like, yeah. super well. I'd say just watch it dubbed. We love anime easy. a lot as much as for most. Sure, for sure. Don't hurt yourself like I did. Yeah, don't. Oh, you watch, don't do it. Don't you hurt yourself. Pace watching yourself. The anime. Yeah. yeah, pace yeah. yourself, especially <laughs> with this one, because uh, you really want to. Like they said, you really want to understand. And it's uh, a cliffhanger every episode. Yeah, it is. So you want to understand everything that's going on, and yeah, don't let yourself get caught into like the cliffhanger trap. Uh, don't let yourself <laughs> go to sleep. Let yourself like process it. Process <laughs> everything, and then go on to the next episode. Yeah, I so honestly whatever. like. Watch at most, at most, three episodes a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. even that's kind of a lot because of how much goes on. For sure. Um, but that's another reason, like, because of how much goes on, it allows you to, like, stop, take a minute, take it in, and really appreciate the show. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so much that goes on in every episode, and it's so entertaining. It really is, yeah. And you're just, I mean, I was on the edge of my seat basically the entire show Mm -hmm. and you've got really interesting characters with really interesting development and just Mm -hmm. you want to root for the bad guy but you don't want to root for the bad guy but you do want to root for the bad guy but you want to root for the good guy but you don't want to root for the good guy yeah because the good guy kind of gives off the bad guy vibe but the bad guy kind of gives off the good guy vibe and you're just kind of like i don't know well and and part of that is the the story is the bad guy i know but is he 
but is he? Exactly. Like, there's like, yeah. there's like yeah. an entire, is this good or is this bad yeah, kind it's, of thing. Well, and the, it's kind of a play show. on your morals, too. Exactly. That's right. the whole thing about the, the concept of the show. It, it's like, what what is morality? And like, yeah. what would happen if somebody had the power to kill anyone they wanted at will? 100%. Which, which as a concept, is awesome. Yeah. And it's done so, so well with Death Note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really is. So, uh, overall, like, it makes sense why it's so high on everyone's list yeah. um, and why everyone talks about it. Plus, I really do think that, like, if you can get through the first couple episodes and truly, like, get into it, yeah. it will springboard you forward and be like, you want to watch more anime? <laughs> and you're just like, yes, I do. It's like, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> more anime. Um, pulls, all right. Starts buying pillows. <laughs> <laughs> like, like... Suddenly, I'm a fan. Body pillows? <laughs> well, <laughs> skeleton shaped body pillows? Skeleton shaped? <laughs> Aiden got that reference. Yep. I got the reference, but why are they skeleton shaped? They're not skeleton shaped. She's yes. not that weird. <laughs> Isn't she? She is, but <laughs> hold on. she They're not skeleton shaped. It's a, Either way. They do have a skeleton on them. Overlord. Hey. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> that's not a gateway anime. It is Moving not. On. So now we wanted to talk about specific uh, animes <laughs> to get you into specific genres. Uh, and first we wanted to start off with how to get you into watching a subbed anime and watching them subbed. Yes. Because there are a lot of anime out there, specifically new anime, mm-hmm. that don't have dubs that don't have English dubs and so that are really them. good and you want to watch them yeah. and it's definitely. really sad because I'll recommend a show to my sister and she doesn't watch sub right <laughs> and so she'll just be like, like this show's really good and she's like I'm not gonna watch that it's not dubbed I'm like okay this show's really good it's also not dubbed Quinn I'm like you're just like I don't care <laughs> and I and I totally understand how like how difficult it is especially uh, if you haven't really watched anything sub before um, yes. how difficult it can be to look at the words and, you know, read what they're saying and then also trying to watch it at the same time and switching back and forth constantly. Like, for a lot of people, that's really, really difficult, uh, especially in the beginning. Yes. I'm a slow reader. I have a hard time with it. I'm right. a slow reader. And so... Uh, a medium reader. <laughs> a medium reader. And, and so, there, uh, so I guess what we're going to talk about is, like, the specific show that is really, really easy to, one, follow vi- both visually... And also while you're reading. So. And, yeah, and that one is One Punch Man. One Punch! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> had no, to be. no apologies <laughs> necessary. Let's go. No apologies. Uh, yeah, the plot one, is quite simple. One Punch Man, yeah. The plot is very simple. Yeah. yeah. The dude one punches everything, everything. he comes across. The, the plot is over simple. He's the best hero <laughs> in the world because no one can beat him. He it, literally <laughs> one hit cannon. and they're dead. He's the best hero that anybody's ever made. I mean, he has to punch something once. And it's gone. Obliterated. Wins. Like, you don't... You can't be a bad hero if you never lose. (laughs) Like... Yeah. (laughs) Also, the character... uh, The whole show is a commentary on action anime, and that's also fun, because it's like... Mm -hmm. There's no progression or development, necessarily. It's, It's watching him be bored with fights. Yeah. He's like... Except for that one time he tried to kill a fly? Mosquito. <laughs> for like five minutes. And he couldn't get it. <laughs> I think that was the most fun he had. No, oh, absolutely. Best and it's fight super fun of the for the show <laughs> against the mosquito. <laughs> and it's super fun for the audience, too, because you're like, wait, this guy, he literally beats every bad guy he comes across. And he, and he can't kill this mosquito. Yeah. And here's the thing that may sound like a terrible concept. <laughs> It's but it's pulled off in a beautiful way. Yeah, it's they amazing. They really do a great job, yeah. But what makes it so good is to watch subbed and to like get you into subbed is that a lot of the fights don't involve talking. Yeah. It's just you fight and that's what's happening, okay? Like a couple words at a time, maybe. Yeah. And there are a fair amount of fights. There are a lot of other characters in there as well that do fighting, right? It's not all just yeah. Saitama just one-punching everything. There mm-hmm. are other people in there as there's well. There's other good fights. Yeah. You know, Saitama to like, me And is sometimes like, there's like, we're talking, we're talking, you're at the bottom of the screen reading, and suddenly Saitama shows up and just like pops the guy. And you're, and like, you're like, wait, like, I needed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> because it's beautiful whenever he punches someone. It is. 
I don't know. Saitama to me is just like if Krillin from Dragon Ball Z was actually a competent fighter. Yeah. 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 Like the same level of entertainment because Krillin is a very entertaining character. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I feel like he's just very much like he gives off that like if Krillin were a good fighter vibe. Yeah. Not in terms of like actual character to yeah. character. Like they're very different characters. But it's more like if Krillin was good, it would be just as entertaining as watching like Saitama yeah, fight. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, it'd be like if Krillin were the main character versus Goku. Exactly. Kind of mm, thing. Yeah. Because even like some of the art styles are very similar. Like, are. Some of the villain like some yeah. of the monsters and villains and stuff oh, that he fights definitely. are very much like are you from the Dragon Ball universe? <laughs> you know, <it's> an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he just goes through villains so quick that they yeah. keep having to bring out new ones and better ones and <laughs> yeah. stronger ones, and they're very creative with that. Yeah, and he does yeah. a very good job yeah. writing it. And one thing is that even though there's like all these characters and stuff like that, there's not a lot of talking. Yeah. A lot of the development is done through the actual animation. So it leaves you time to actually watch the animation and to watch what's going on. Um, rather than like, oh, I have to read. Now I have to watch. Mm -hmm. Now I have to read. Now I have to watch. It's like, okay, I'm done reading. No one's talking. We're fighting. Good. I get to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this guy just, okay, he's just saying what? Like, Money. <laughs> yeah, it's just very simple things. <laughs> like... Most of the time, you're not getting these long, drawn-out paragraphs and monologues like in yeah, other shows. For sure. Um, and that's why it's so easy to get into as a sub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? Good. Nope. Cool. All right. Moving on with the next genre. I think we'll start with the uh, murder mystery genre or the, like, detective genre. Um, and I think... Yeah, I get, yeah, the who done it. Who done yeah. it? The who done it. So um, and these ones are kind of a little bit more difficult to get into. Like, I mean, everyone's played Clue, but as an anime, it's kind of weird to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the best one and the one that we've talked about uh, in terms of getting you started into those is Erased. And I mean, that one's pretty popular just in general, but it's also a really good who done it. So, do you want to take this one? Uh. You love this show. I do. It's very, very good. Um, where do you where do you start with this show? Um, it's really good in that, like, our hero, every moment, you're rooting for him to, like, figure it out and, like, stop the bad guy from doing the things that he did. Uh, early on, you learn that he's able to time travel, basically, and then, like, change the past to make the future better, to change the, the, the present. But he does not have control over his power. Uh, yeah. That just kind of happens to him what? sometimes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then he gets to go back and we, we look we for have. look for the things that might be about to go wrong. <coughs> um, Don't die. It's bad. <coughs> Dang. But then, like, at the end of the first episode, <coughs> he goes back, what is it, 15 years? 20? <laughs> yeah. Because like, he's, like, 27. Like, yeah. the first episode, 15, at the beginning, 15, you think he's going to be, like, uh, saving people and, you know solving <coughs> cases like that like one after another but mm -hmm. the entire show is about one thing uh, well it, it was a series of <coughs> kidnap murderings yeah but, but it was about, about one, like one like kidna one yeah. kidnapped guy yeah guy yeah kidnapper kidnapper mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the and we don't know English I'm <laughs> stopping him and it's really really good I think it's interesting because halfway through the show he fails Oof. like the guy wins and so he, he's back in the present. Things have not changed much at all. And he's like, well, crap. W what was the point of that? But, like, he learned a lot of stuff, and, like, he was able to go back in time again with his special power thing. Spoil? No, I'm just kidding. So, I, I don't think it's spoiling to say that the hero wins. Like, he figures it out, and he stops the guy. But in the process, he... Don't, no, 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 stop talking. Okay. That's too much spoilers? That's too much, yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Like, he does win. And it's not in the way you expect. That's all. Yeah. Like, he wins. You, It is a guaranteed victory. It's just not in the way, like, most people would mm -hmm. expect. It's much more of a win for the people he was saving than for himself. Yeah. Mm. Which, like, honestly, that's kind of what that's you're true. hoping. That's what he was yeah. hoping to accomplish. Cool. Plus, it is a shorter, shorter series. It's only 12 episodes. Oh. 
and I love shows like that. Mm -hmm. that's really the beauty of anime is they have a ton of shows that are like 12 13 episodes and you could watch one after another yeah. and it, it, it tells a complete story it's got yeah. fully fleshed characters all of the characters in that show are very good especially yes. the female characters they spend a good yeah. amount of time um, they're way making good. you love the characters that are going to die yeah, and, it and that makes it that's like the beauty of the show you're like this you can't know, end this is our the person that got kidnapped and murdered. And this is the person we're trying to save. And they're also, adorable. And we get to know they're them adorable and love them. And you love them. And you're like, and you're like, and you're like how dare you not to save them? <laughs> how dare you do this? Yeah. 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 <sighs> uh, you need to watch that one. I do yes. need to watch that one. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a quick watch. Just like, I need to watch another show. You need to watch yeah. that one. Watch that one's quick. Uh, watch yours is going to take a lot longer. Right. Yeah, yours will take a, quite a <laughs> bit. <laughs> the weight is on your It is. It's only like 60 times long. It's there. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's there. I'll, I'll get there. Well, eventually, hopefully. Let's get into no. comedy. Yeah. yeah. So comedy anime, very different shift. Yes. This one's to make you laugh. And this one, I would say, definitely watch them subbed. Mm. If you can. Um, because get into subbed anime before you yeah. watch comedy. Yeah. Because oh. the... Because comedy is very specific. Yeah. Comedic timing. timing is very specific. These these guys are actors. Yes. Actually, yeah. All of this. These guys be actors. The wall, the wall separates there. Yep. He's and so they know how <laughs> acting comedy is difficult. Yeah. Comedy is not... It's one of the hardest things to learn... And it's the same way with, like, trying to translate comedy. Yeah. Trying to translate comedy almost yeah. never works. You can make a different joke, and it can be just as funny, but you're not going to get the same joke. And that's why I say, like, you can have a dub that's really funny. Mm -hmm. um, for example, Konosuba, which is the, the show that we're going to talk about, has a dub and a sub. And the dub, honestly, it is very funny. It has very funny moments. However, it is not nearly as funny or nearly as on point and on time with its comedic timing as the sub. The sub is incredibly funny. Also, if I genuinely understood <clears throat> Japanese, I think it would be twice as funny as mm -hmm. watching the sub. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. That show's hilarious. Yes. It, it truly is just over the top funny. The yeah, characters are ridiculous. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've got a lot shorter ones to watch. Yeah, I tried to knock out the long ones first. Wait, you should not want, knock out the short ones. <laughs> no, because then I can enjoy more of them in a shorter amount of time. There's something to yeah, okay. for that. <clears throat> anyway, hey. Konosuba, what makes it so good to get into comedy anime? I anime yeah comedic. comedic anime there we go couldn't find the words um finger guns no. i think it does i think it does comedy better than most anime i've watched like there's mm -hmm. romantic comedy and i've watched a fair amount of those and those are really funny but mm -hmm. this one isn't romantic comedy it's just straight comedy yes and it's hilarious and they kind of like at the very beginning they kind of make you feel like you're not going to watch a comedy cuz you're like oh okay so this is going to be an like adventure. Yu Yu Hakusho right and no no, no, it's, it's, no it's not like, no it's funny <laughs> no this is all just this is all just a big joke yeah um, it's <laughs> this entire show is all just one big joke it's all just one big joke <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah our main character died again eh it's fine so we're good Resurrection! Again! We only killed him for the sake of this joke to be made. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it's the funny version of Dragon Ball. It's the comedy Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's the comedy ReZero. It's the comedy of so many Super different natural. great... Yeah. Yes! <laughs> it's the comedy of so many different shows. And, I, and like, because of that, you get a look at it and you're just like, Hey, that's that trope, and they're making fun of it, and it's great. <laughs> This one is one that, in terms of, like, getting into comedy anime, it's great. 
Mm-hmm. Because you also get to make fun of all the other enemy. Uh, but it's also like romant like it getting into romantic comedy is completely different mm-hmm. in its own little way because mm-hmm. you have to understand the the Japanese culture of romance. Yes. Which I still don't. Like you don't have to completely understand it, but you need to But you to have to like have a basic minor grasp the on it. The way they think about it. Yeah. 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 And this one you don't need to do that because it's just comedy. Yeah. Um now, if we were going to talk about romantic comedy specifically, I think we would say, like, Sude Dude Children mm-hmm. or Gamers. One of those is probably your best bet for a romantic comedy. And the dubs um, of those are really good. Mm-hmm. I actually uh, watched those dubs. Dubs. Yeah. I mean, even though they're subs comedy. are really good, though, mm-hmm. in terms of comedy anime. Obviously, I think you kind of get two different experiences with the sub and the dub of comedic anime. Um, as I said... They're both really funny. Both Konosuba dubbed and and subbed are very funny. Um, as well as the other shows. So, like, it's all just preference with that one. Alright. <clears throat> Next genre. Do we have anything else to say about comedy? Do you good. We're good. Okay. Cool. Next genre. Which one was that one? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh no! Is this no. Me? <laughs> no. Oh boy. What? <laughs> so this one is the more fan servicey one, the one where uh, I was. I didn't realize uh, I was. Do your gesture. Nope. Oh bye. Oh bye. The one with like, the one that you expected this show to be, but it but wasn't. After the first fifteen seconds, you're like, wait a second. What is this? Am I watching? <laughs> oh, you're talking about harem anime. No, we could. Her mom. No, no, no. Because harem anime is great. Etchy anime. Oh, etchy anime. The fan service base. See, harem anime is Similar? like a subculture of that. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. But harem anime can be non-etchy, like Let, much quintessential more tame. quintuplets. Yeah. Or yeah. or on high school the host club. Yep, that yeah. one's. That's good stuff. <laughs> so like, it's kind of like a subgenre. It's wholesome. Anyway, etchy anime. Wholesome, wholesome harem anime. Yeah! That's... Anyway. Stupid. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> when we could just have etchy. <laughs> Useless! Oh, <laughs> oh Okay. Anyway, so, so... The gateway anime for this one, only me and Adrian have watched because... Yeah! We're the uh, etchy side of this I'd couch. Like to get to <laughs> I think you would honestly like this show. Though. Okay. It's so, actually yeah. got a good story, yeah. which is why we're going to talk about In it. Addition, it be- um... Yeah. <clears throat> yes, Tanner. Yes. Say that more loudly. In addition to good boobies. Yes. 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 Thank you. That. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's, that's accurate. And this one is um, how not to summon a demon lord, which oh. is also an isekai technically, yes. but it's an edgy enemy. Oh. Okay. First and foremost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But basically, the concept of the show is. Number one player in said video game gets transported into the world of the video game. Sounds Very like typical. <clears throat> yeah. It's been done. No. It's, it's been done before. A few times. But he gets transported, and the way he gets transported is amazing. Yes. Because <laughs> there's two girls that are kissing him, and that's how he gets transported into the world. And because of like a magic item that he has... Instead of him becoming one of their slaves, it's reflect magic. It reflects, and it he beca- and they become his slaves. Yep, it's great. <laughs> it's a great start to the show. But okay. instead of him like taking that and being like, <laughs> he instead goes the non hentai route. Well, one thing you have to understand about well, him is. Oh, the yes. fact that like because he's the number one gamer and whatever, he has no social life. Uh, which basically means he's never really talked to a girl. So... Unless he's portraying yeah. this character so, of the Demon Lord. Yeah, so for him, it's... It's like... He doesn't really know how to actually, like... How he could take advantage of the situation. <laughs> so instead, oh, he basically... Yeah. Uh, 
he's the demon lord. Yes. Yeah. And he got transported to another world. Yep. And but he he's a failed. <laughs> How not to summon How a not demon to lord. Summon a demon lord. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got so, it. So, like... So he's super awkward. Internally, he's freaking out the entire time. It's hilarious to hear his uh, inner it is. monologue. It really is. Um, but he's the only way he's basically getting through this whole experience is by pretending to be his character. Mm -hmm. uh, which works out for him for the most... Like 90% of the yeah, time. Yeah, 90% of the time. But that 10% of the time when it doesn't work out, rather than things getting like weird and like gross... And hentai esque, it just gets ridiculous and funny, and like he challenges people to duels randomly, and you're just like, "This is a bad, this is a mistake. Don't do this." And it gets slightly <laughs> lewd, but never, not not exactly like not on hentai level. Just yeah. kind of, it's because you know, a, it's some fan service. Hentai. It's got it's, it's yeah. a fan service show. Yeah, it's, like it's good. honestly, that was one where I watched it and was like, I actually care about these characters. Yeah, like Rem. Yes, there's another Rem. Okay. Was honestly best girl. Yeah. Even though, like, flat chest isn't my thing, she was definitely best girl. And I think that's the one thing with this genre is, like, so. even though it does have, like, a very lewd aspect to it in, like, certain situations, uh, they do a fantastic job, most of them, uh, of really, like, giving you good characters. Mm -hmm. It's just, every once in a while, they throw in something that you're a little like, oh, okay, well, you know. Um, <laughs> pause. <and laughs> what? You said pause. Oh, I was talking about watching Now it. we're unpaused. No. So what Tanner means is by, like, when you see it, you're like, oh, hold on, time out. Like, is it, did I see what I think I saw? Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, that's what you were referring to. <laughs> I actually paused. Uh, Sorry, you got a little skip there. That's that. what happened. That was in my bad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but no, they do, for the most part, they do a pretty good job at giving you some solid characters, uh, some pretty good character development, uh, and it's very entertaining. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Plus it's actually, like, a good isekai. Yeah, it really is, yeah. Speaking sure. of. Speaking of, what's a great isekai, Quinn? Bro. Dude. Are we talking about ReZero? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We're talking about ReZero. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've already talked about Sword Art Online. We've already talked about how not to summon a demon lord. Let's talk about the uh, creme de la creme. <laughs> creme de la creme. <laughs> of Isekai. Of Isekai. <laughs> well, it's one a difficult one to watch. It is. In, In parts. The beginning is really easy and really fun to watch. Mm -hmm. The middle is difficult because mm. it's a lot of him just getting beat up. Does suffering count as plot? Dope. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You'd love this. <laughs> <sighs> and and then after that, the end is actually very good. Gotcha. But it's not it didn't like end. It didn't. Oh, there will be I feel more. like there's cut off. But yeah, I feel like you have to read the manga if you want the rest of the story. Mm. There's a lot they of They should do a season unfinished 2. Unfinished stuff. Mm. But it's a really good show. This no, show actually wasn't very popular in Japan. Really? And it was huge. Like, yeah, massive absolutely. in America. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. And Rem, from that show, won Best Girl of the Year. In 2017? Mm hmm 2017. Good stuff. That's dope. It, yeah. That's Honestly, not. we've said a lot about this show already. Uh, if you watch us, we have. Stuff. Or you can just listen to the sumptuous sounds of our voices. Well, some of our voices. Yeah. Mainly Tanner's. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Anyway, overall, <laughs> overall, ReZero is a really good isekai. And I think it is good to get you into the isekai genre because it does everything really well with still giving you a twist. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, like, the fact that he can die and come back to life at a certain save point is very reminiscent of a video game, which is why, like, it's fun to watch. Because you're just like, ah, I would have done the same mistake in my game. I hate it when that happens. Oh, yeah. I would have died there, too. 
kind of thing. Yeah, and the way he actually gets transported to the world is my favorite that I've ever seen. Hmm. He blinks. He blinks and he's there. Like, legit. And I he actually blinks. love it. Like, the animation of it is amazing. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. The animation of this show in general is phenomenal. Uh huh. It's so they pretty. They do a good job on this one. Um, and I think they just came out not too long ago, a couple months ago. They came out with the Blu ray dubbed version of ReZero. Oh. So, if you want to watch it dubbed, which honestly, it sounded pretty good dubbed. You can watch you it dubbed. You can. So. However, other than that, I think right now it's just in sub. Mm. Because, you know, Funimation. Whack. Gotta make their money. Gotta make their money. Whack. Okay. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. So, uh, but yeah, overall, it's just it's just a good yeah. isekai. It does everything well. The way he gets transported, the overall character that he is, like, he doesn't get a super power, and so mm -hmm. it's just this character... Or this person in another world. Also, isekai is not only a thing in Japan, I found. I used yeah. to, like, when I was in fifth grade, I re read books about people being transported to another world. I, mm. won I read one called Far World. The guy got eaten yeah. by, like, oh, yeah. a hippo or something. And he yeah, got he transported. Got, he, he yeah, got a hippo. Yeah, totally. But he got transported to another world. It was totally. crazy. Yeah. So isekai isn't. Like, it's not only it's in like Japan. It's like Bridge to Terabithia. Yeah, Bridge to Terabithia. A little bit, yeah. No, more death. More death. Less significant death. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> More significant, um, lasting I'm, I'm death. Kidding. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So... I think it was last week that Brooklyn came upstairs crying, and I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, I just watched British for Therapist. Yeah. <laughs> His sister. <clears throat> Anyways. Bridge to Therapist. I think that's... All the genres that really need, like, an intro anime. Yeah. yeah. I actually I mean, would say that Isai Isekai doesn't need an intro anime. Mm, I think they're, probably. for the most part, pretty easy to watch. But. Fun. Konosuba? He said bud. <laughs> anyway. Is Aqua going to be somewhere on the screen? Like, right? <laughs> no. There? No, she's not. Just because you said but? Yeah. And then now it's going to be right there. Yeah, every time no, we say I'm not, but. I'm not going. <laughs> every time. That's a lot of work, guys. Okay, anyway, that's but. all. It's over there now. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> However, comma. <laughs> there was a well yoke. done. Well done, Kyle. <sighs> not editing that in. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do it for every time we say but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We should do it just once and then be like, audience, picture it every other time. <laughs> just that, that would be but on the screen. <gasps> <laughs> just, what? That's, anyway. our, that's our thumbnail for the video. <laughs> a link to a picture of Aqua's butt will be left in the description. <laughs> 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 Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. <laughs> um, if this helped you get into any specific genre or helped you like find an anime to watch to get started in anime, um, just leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this as well as more podcasts and stuff like that, just re be sure to subscribe. Any comments you want to leave about other gateway animes that maybe impacted you or that you think are really good just leave in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty bye bye